G'day, I am Alistair Christie, and this is uh, blog post number 14 for LearnDelphi.tv. Um, I've got three three things I want to mention uh, in this uh, blog post. The first is uh, Code 7. The uh, replays for that are now up, and you can get them on uh, either YouTube or from the Embarcadero website. Um, my session went really well. I was quite, quite pleased. Um, the content, the actual video itself, was a bit, I basically squeezed sort of an hour and a half worth of content into sort of uh, 50 minutes, which uh, <laughs> meant it was a little bit um, uh, obscure, but uh, not, not as nice as my uh, commercial videos in, in, in many respects, where I sort of uh, can take my time and explain things, even though I go pretty fast in the commercial ones as well. Uh, no sense uh, wasting uh, uh, valuable viewing time. So I'd also like to thank uh, David I for giving me such an excellent introduction. Uh, he's always uh, very gracious and kind. Um, and so that, that Code Rage 7. Um, second topic uh, was that um, there's a Wellington Delphi user group. And if you're in Wellington and, and uh, aren't, I would say, a member, because we don't really have a membership, but we just uh, get together from time to time and discuss uh, all things Delphi. Uh, and I actually did a presentation. This is the first presentation we've actually done. Normally we just uh, sit around and and, and, and talk. Um, and it's, it's quite interesting to find out what other people are doing um, with Delphi and sort of the little quirky things that, that they come up with. Um, so I, I did a, a presentation on the what's new in Delphi XE3. Um, didn't really have time to do any demos. I demoed a little bit of live bindings, uh, visual, visual live bindings which are very cool and easy to learn, unlike the uh, regular live, live bindings, which are quite obscure and um, uh, requ require have a steep learning curve. The uh, visual live bindings all drag and drop and, and, and generate the, the conventional live bindings in the background. Um, and so, yeah, basically I went through the, uh, the uh, Embarcadero slides as being an MVP I get access to. Uh, all sorts of interesting things, which I've got to spend more time going over, actually. But, uh, um, so, yeah, that went, went quite well, well received, um, and was good fun. I was a bit nervous about it, but uh, uh, oh, oh, I took video, the video camera to record it, but I, I didn't in the end. Um, but it would have been, I suppose, interesting. I don't know. I was too chicken. Um, so, oh, and the, so, thirdly, um, I, the other week I finished another commercial video, um, this one on T-Client Dataset, so it's, it's going to be part of a series. So this first one's two hours long, um, selling it for $15, which is it's just unbelievably cheap, really, uh, for the, the, the amount of uh, content in it. Um, um, similar videos, you know, on you, you look at uh, videos on Java and SQL and, and Android and stuff like that, and it's, it's, it's just, considering the, 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 my small audience, uh, it, it's it very very awesome value, but anyway, so this this part one, I'm sort of covering most of the properties of T client dataset uh, stuff not related to multi tier or connecting to a database, so that that will be further down the line. Um, in when I when I start looking at building data aware applications, and. Uh, Yes. Um, so my first video is two hours long, there'll be at least one more, and possibly a third, depending on how divide, I divide things up. Um, and the, I'm going to be starting uh, part two very shortly, the recording for that, and I'll be focusing on um, the events and some of the properties uh, I, I didn't cover. I covered aggregate fields, but I didn't cover the aggregate property, which I need to look at, and a few other bits and pieces. Um, and it, it's sort of, sort of it, it's a coverage of... Um, uh, data sets as well. Uh, you need a, this, you know, that T data set is a, an abstract class, so uh, you need some sort of concrete uh, class to illustrate how it works. And uh, so, yeah, T client data set, we'll look at other, other um, types of data set, uh, particularly the um, Database Express, which I use a little bit of. Uh, I'm still still doing a lot of BDE stuff, which I, I really need to migrate, but it's, it's, it's too big a, a project uh, for just me. Unfortunately, it's sort of hundreds of thousands of lines of code that, that need to be migrated. Um, so, 
but anyway, that's a bit of a uh, digression. And I'd just also like to mention, if on, on the topic of uh, client data sets, this, um, Carrie Jensen's uh, Delphi in-depth client data sets uh, is, is worth uh, grabbing, get it from Amazon. Um, I've, I've lo I looked at it a number of times in the preparation, um, particularly uh, filling with aggregate fields, and my articles and stuff as well online, as well as some videos. I did one for Code Rage 7, which is, is well worth a look on aggregates. Um, aggregates and, and something else. And I, I cover aggregates in, in my, my video as well. Um, so, uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I, <laughs> I hope uh, it was interesting, probably not very informative. Um, but I'll have um, some more videos. Um, I'm hoping to do more stuff with... Uh, live bindings, so I'm, I'm looking to um, uh, research those in a bit more detail because I'll be wanting to uh, do that in a future video, a commercial one. So I'll be producing a, a, a whole bunch of uh, free ones probably based on the uh, as much little, um, tutorial demo things that uh, Embarcadero have done, um, which, which the uh, us MVPs get a, a copy of. Um, recently scripts on, on how to do uh, demo the various aspects of of, uh, of you know the, the various things new in XE3 fire monkey live bindings and and whatnot. So I'll hopefully be uh, producing a number of those in the near future. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, I will focus on getting this uh, client edits part two finished, um, which will hopefully get us a long way towards being able to actually build an application using. Uh, data aware controls or live bindings, but I'll, I'll probably do the um, the, the conventional uh, you know client data set data source data aware controls uh, type uh, of application initially. Look at live bindings, but later. So um, that's enough for me. Um, I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv. I'll uh, catch you next time.